Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin on Thursday, March 5th, 2020. And when last we left off, I had gone to the Microsoft Store and I had downloaded Ubuntu 18.04. long-term service release and as you can see it is now uh, installed and I can launch it and here you can see it is uh, a Linux shell for sure LSB release hyphen a you can also see that it is in fact 18.04 running here on Windows 10 and uh, <clears throat> one of the things I discovered was that when I uh, closed out of it and I go into it through my unified Microsoft Windows terminal I happily also have it automatically inserted here you can see it puts it on there my default is still 16.04 uh, under WSL2. This is 18.04 and such a tiny font, control plus, LSB release and we can see indeed we are on 18.04 here under the unified terminal but are we under WSL2 is the question. So we bring up a PowerShell and we do WSL hyphen L for list hyphen V for verbose and we've got two Ubuntu's running my older one and the newer one but you can see whereas the older one is WSL version 2 the newer one is surprisingly WSL version 1 now when you go and Google on how to upgrade it does say uh, it is as easy as WSL set version the distro name and setting it to 2 and so I tried that then you grab the distro name and we are in PowerShell this is where these WSL commands are done it's the same as WSL.exe same thing it's one of those files stuck in your system 32 directory probably or your system directory but at any rate uh, it was set hyphen version set it was double hyphen set hyphen version as so many of these commands are the name of the distro and the WSL version you want to move it to and there is that notorious message I also got this message conversion in progress this might take a few minutes and then it can't be done due to a virtual disk limitation it can't have compression turned on I encountered that problem when I upgraded my 16.04 instance from WSL 1 to 2. So here we have it with a fresh install of 18.04 from the Microsoft Store. Thankfully I've encountered this before and my uh, googling was pretty clear of what to do. So like a cook show I have done a lot of this stuff in advance I googled up a couple of solutions here one that's done from the desktop in setting attributes of a file and another that's done I believe in PowerShell so we'll do this first one first where I surfed into this deep location my username app data local packages canonical and from here we can right click on local state hit properties and we can go into advanced and we can turn off compression and if this was selected you would turn that off as well so uh, this virtual hard drive really is being told to not do compression apply changes so it might take a while if this is compressed and it's going to uncompress an error occurred ignore 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 all So it's not merely um, a single file, it's everything under that location can't be compressed. So it's going to be about 11 minutes while it takes care of that. 
I guess I'll do the other part of the solution here while that's going on and then maybe pause. So this guy at the bottom said it worked for him with a solution of that and uh, this other guy who sort of started the whole thread. So this guy, Squeaky PL, he says, oh, I fixed it by doing these two things, fsutil. So let's just make sure we know what fsutil is. Microsoft use only by advanced users, advanced intent primarily system administrators. Okay, so it, you know, it's an admin tool, does stuff to drives and stuff. So what they're saying to do is fsutil behavior set disable encryption to one and disable compression to one. That sounds like a system-wide thing to do. I'm not quite all that thrilled about that, but to get this working, we're going to do it. Feels like a PowerShell kind of thing. Access denied. I guess we got to open this as a um, admin. Let's do that as admin. Oh, I wonder if I needed to do that as admin over here as well. That would have been something. Oh, and it says 40 minutes, or, oh, 30 seconds or six minutes. Okay, so that's going fast. I bet I can make this one video. So if you need to start PowerShell and admin, you start typing PowerShell, and you right click on it, and you can run as administrator. You allow it. Now you can see the difference between these windows that come up not in the unified uh, Microsoft terminal and uh, versus the unified tabbed one. So anyway, we do that. Looks like that took. And the other command, one is encryption and the other is compression. And that took as well. Um, they both say a re reboot is required in order for it to take effect. So there may be some editing in my future. Um, yeah, look at all that stuff go by. That is the file system of the uh, Ubuntu uh, instance. All the Python stuff is scrolling by right now. Very interesting. So since a reboot's going to be required anyway, I might as well uh, stop my video and uh, do a tiny bit of editing. So I have just rebooted, and now I should be able to do, I guess, uh, I guess it's just my standard unified terminal but I will want a PowerShell from there. And from the PowerShell, I need to do that command to uh, upgrade my... Uh, Ubuntu from WSL1 to WSL2. Bring up Chrome. is the query that did this last time. And it was simplified to a uh, super, oh, that's the one from within. Uh, a lot of different issues going on here. That's from within the uh, instance. We actually, that's not the query, upgrade WSL1 to WSL2, a great instance from. Yeah. There's this super quick one-liner saying, yes, it is just that easy. 
So uh, this is it. Set version, right? So first we can do that WSL list verbose. We get our names. We can once again see the issue we're solving. This is a one and that needs to be a two. This is our distro name. So the command is WSL set version. And this should work now that I carried out those uh, two remedies that were pointed out on the uh, first part of the video that had to do with turning off uh, compression and encryption uh, both with a uh, right click on your uh, local files on your desktop and with a PowerShell uh, command line for uh, I think it was FSUtil or something. Uh, so there was a command line and a desktop way of turning off compression uh, specifically on your Ubuntu instance and all the separate files that go into it seems that it is not one giant virtual file the way uh, VMware and a lot of these other things put your hard drive into a single container file. These appear to be individual separate files under Windows. <laughs> it would be a real trick to get into that location to show you where that was done. I'm tempted to do so uh, while this is going on. But I think what I'll just do is pause the recording. Okay, the conversion is complete. Uh, while this was going on, just for my own edification and hopefully for yours as well, I brought up the instructions that I was following here, which is to surf into this very deep location here. You know, this is your C drive, your username, users, and then your username, and then app data, local packages, canonical, 18.04, and then right clicking on uh, local state bringing up properties and bringing up advanced and making sure that that compressed button is removed on that and that makes sure that all your file stuff for Linux is not in compressed mode. That's apparently one place it still has a problem. I did uh, the additional step of what was instructed which sounds like turning it off globally which is this. I'll have to refer to that later because I like encryption and compression being on on my system. Uh, but for the sake of getting this done, I had executed those two commands through uh, PowerShell and it has um, successfully completed. So now if I do WSL uh, list and versions, there are now two twos. So my 16.04 uh, is now uh, version two, well is has been version two, and my brand new Microsoft Store installed 18.04 is now also version 2, but you can see it stopped. This first tab is the one that's running, which is this. So I will, for the very first time, run my Ubuntu 18.04 in WSL2. And I should be able to go right back here, run that again, and whereas it was stopped here, it is now running. So congratulations to me, I have Ubuntu 18.04 on WSL2 uh, on uh, Windows 10. This is a Windows 10 system, just like any other uh, that's out there, but they're extremely uh, Linux and uh, Ubuntu friendly right now. Uh, increase the font, LSB release, hyphen A, and I'll do the first uh, sudo apt get update to uh, update its uh, local repository um, and you can see where Xenial was the word that was going down all these uh, you know prefixes before it is now uh, bionic I guess the cute animal names are over uh, and then a pseudo apt get upgrade Yes, I will allow all that to happen. 
Now I will have a few customization scripts like my uh, bash profile and my spin directory uh, to update on uh, this Ubuntu to make it my, my primary uh, instance. But I see no reason to remain on 16.04 anymore when I have 18.04. So the last thing I'll do in this video before I uh, uh, exit and uh, edit the two parts together into one video uh, will be uh, changing the default. And I'll show you how uh, VS Code is in fact used. In fact, I'll do that now while this is going on. There's no reason to wait. Settings. We will find almost certainly that this file has been changed to create an entry for 18.04 that I should be able to find with a, just a quick search on 18.04. And uh, there you have it. This is a uh, new, I'm going to see where else it, it occurs. It's just in that one location. But we have a GUID here, which we can copy. And then we go up to the very top, where the default profile is here. And it has a GUID in there for the default profile. And I am going to paste a new GUID in there, save quit out of it and after oh and see it went back to that small font size because uh, I had been in and out of preferences and it's real time there are several instances that need to be restarted with certain libraries such as restart services during package upgrades without asking yeah sure why not okay so while that's going on I'll do the one last thing here under settings to make it at least visually uh, match the uh, other instances of Unix and you can well, again we'll search for 18.04 and that shouldn't be terribly far from uh, my other entries this is my old no that's uh, Ubuntu that's uh, WSL1 so somewhere in here is Ubuntu 2 there it is and uh, there's going to be a font size in here, for example. Font size 20. So I'll change it to 20 over here as well. In fact, I'll put those entries in. See how minimal the entries are here? Font size. Little pointer freeze going on. Now when I quit out of here, I will at least have the uh, regular size font that I want. Yep, there we go. And as I had hoped, it is uh, completed. And uh, I can just quit out of here, quit out of everything. It's going to ask whether I really want to do that. But now when I open this up again, I'm not going to get my Lundervand message, which I'll put back in there uh, at some point. But I will get and do get... My 18.04. So now whenever I open my unified Windows terminal under uh, Windows 10, I get Ubuntu 18.04 that I had just now installed out of the Microsoft Store. That's my new version. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope this is of interest to those people who uh, want to run Linux on Windows. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.